Welcome back down to the Paddock Race fans. Well, congratulations to Hall of Famer Calvin Burrell and trainer Brad Cox, who remains hot at this Ellis Park meeting. Upcoming eighth race, we're gonna go five eighths. This is for the Phillies and Mares, or for the Philly two-year-olds. I'm sorry there. And I ended up on the five horse in here, Misty Blue, Mike Maker. Two bullet works in the last two. If you go two back at 36 flat over at the Churchill Downs Training Center, I like that drill. I think that's his horse is going to show speed from the gate with Jockey Channing Hill. Mike Maker very capable of getting one together first time out. And I think this horse might be able to break, go, and never look back. Then how about the eight? How do you leave this one off? Second on debut, a little bit of a rider change here from Jesus Castanon to John Court. This horse pressed the pace and was just denied on debut. Well bet that day, too. Three to, three to one, and it fires right back here for trainer Bernie Flint. Then another first-time starter in here, the Rusty Arnold horse. Rusty Arnold had a first-time starter winner, went very impressively earlier in the week at Indiana Downs. This horse fired a 47-4 last time out at Churchill Downs. I think that's very contentious in this race. None of the works stand out too much to me, and this horse should be very live for trainer Rusty Arnold. A very contentious two-year-old field here for these Phillies. Some nice-looking horses down here. Another horse I do want to mention is the 11, the Greg Foley trainee. You don't think of Greg as a first-time out trainer, but this horse is making a really nice impression down here in the paddock for Lloyd Madison Farms. Best of luck here in this eighth race as this kicks off our late pick three.
up on the track for the American Legion Post 245 race. This is a maiden filly two-year-old with a purse of $50,000 race to go. Five of furlongs on the main. Scratch number nine, Cyclone Millie. Also scratch the 13 owners sweet. Numbers 9 and 13 withdrawn out of the 8th race. The American Legion. Post 245 race. Exact to try. Superfecta. Daily double. Pick 3. Post time is in 5 minutes.
They've reached the starting gate. It's post time. Loading in for the American Legion post 245 or a 6 to 5 on American Legend. First course coming forward. Hooties Racing and WSS Racing's Misty Blue will be the next one to load. Dance and Destroyer opened up five to two on that twelve to one line, drifted back up to five to one. Goes in, Sconson, Greg Foley, and Accelerita will be the last one to load. Blue Silks, Red Bridal, as Sconson, Red, Lloyd Madison Farm Silks, Red Shadow Roll, Daughter of Include, just a touch hesitant to go in. All the others standing well. 7-5 to five now on American Legend. Almost in for Sconson. Lady McKenzie 6-1 to one for Pruitt and Fires. Still working with Sconson. Now, Sconson's locked up. Accelerita. Accelerita for Eddie Mattingly to the outside. They're at the post. And they are racing fast beginning for Sukani, who came out running. Dance and Destroyer is prompting the pace as well. And there goes Sconson up to the outside, moves a closer third. From between horses, the favorite American legend away in the fourth position. To the inside, Rehab is fifth. Up on the outside, Accelerita, close up six, length for the back. Lady Hideaway is seventh. And on her outside, uh, Lady McKenzie is eighth. Still two to Misty Blue, who is ninth. And a length for the back to uh, first course, who is tenth. And Mischievous Maud is eleventh and trailing. They blitz around the turn with five sixteenths to go. Chasing Danson Destroyer. Well-bred daughter of Jimmy Creed shows the way just outside the quarter mile pole. Here comes Sconson right up to her and there's room for the gray Sakani to come back on through. Meanwhile, American Legend loops up on a three wide side to the top of the lane they come. Outside the furlong marker, three right across the course to the inside. Danson Destroyer on the extreme outside. Here's John Court and American Legend ratcheting it up the pressure down the crown of the course. American Legend late on the scene. Sakani, American American legend graduation day wins going away by just about three. Then came a Sakani and Dance and Destroyer. And meanwhile, first course exploded with a late stretch run to photo there with Misty Blue for the fourth spot. Judges posting number eight, American Legend, to be first, second, the one, Sakani, third, number six, Dancing Destroyer, and fourth went to the 11, Sconson. Then came first course in Misty Blue, 8 1 6 11. 8 1 6 11.
eight one six eleven. Seven to five favorite over forty six to one over seven to two over fourteen to one. And your favorite number eight American legend at odds of seven to five wins here. Second at forty six to one, number one Sakani. And last I looked, going into the gate, that exacta for two dollars was paying a hundred and forty bucks. Eighth race is official. Four eighty, four dollars, three dollars on the winner. Trifecta three hundred forty three twenty. And indeed that exacta was one hundred forty dollars and twenty cents. The dollar exacta seventy dollars ten cents. Daily double will be up shortly. There it is, fourteen dollars. Pick three four hundred twenty four dollars fifty cents. The winning Superfecta was 8, 1, 6, and 11. And that Super, $5,256.20. The Dime Super with the favorite on top, $525.62. Coming back to the winner's circle, here's Johnny Court with number 8, American Legend. Good looking two year old uh, Dark Bear Brown Daughter by American Pharaoh out of the Yana Guska Mare. Young Musician. The winner is owned by the L2B Incorporated of Terry and Bernie Flint in partnership with James Zaylor. Bernie Flint, the winning trainer, and uh, jockey John Court up top for the winning ride. Once again, that Steve Crager Daily Double pays $14. Ninth race from Ellis Park up next in 21 minutes. Field of nine to go with no changes. Paging for Shane Roy or Daniel Davis. Head to race security headquarters, please. Shane Roy or Daniel Davis, you're needed at security headquarters. Ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention in the winner's circle. There's the folks from Elnora, Indiana. The American Legion Post 245, American Legion Post 245, sponsoring the eighth race here at Ellis Park. Large group heading into the winner's circle for this presentation to the winning connections of number eight, American Legend. Once again, blanket presentation in the winner's circle, American Legion Post 245. 